Mount Vernon defeated Lincoln in the second round of the playoffs and advanced to the Section 1 semifinals at the Westchester County Center. But the Knights struggled early and trailed Yorktown by six points with just over five minutes to play. The war starts now! In the paint! In the paint! Sherrod hit several key baskets down the stretch, and Kadeem played his best game of the season as Mount Vernon rallied to win. After the victory, Semino talked about the Knights' next game, the Section 1 Championship. Everything is happening Sunday. Sunday is the honest to goodness chance for this team to make history. It doesn't happen often. You have a chance to go down in history with so many other people who have sat in these chairs before you. Three days later, the Knights were playing for Kipsey for the Golden Ball. That trophy is awarded to the Section 1 champion. The pressure was on for Sherrod and his teammates. The Knights took an early lead, and their fans were energized. Overrated! Overrated! <laughs> yeah, let's go! And Mount Vernon kept up the pressure to win by 30 points and capture another 30 ball. Sherrod was named MVP, and Semino took home his 10th golden ball. The Knights would advance to the quarterfinals in the state playoffs. We are, we are what we are, and we were, we were in the championship, and we wanted to play our best game in the championship, and I think we did. We determine the success of the season by winning gold here, and anything less is not necessarily a successful season. Everything that we went through in the off season, from being on the street corners with buckets begging for money, to all of the countless hours of uh, fundraising through interviews, phone calls, uh, it's all worth it now that we took care of business and got the Section 1 title today. Thank you. After the first period is over, the Gold Ball will visit different classrooms in the school. Each of the seniors will take it around, and then it will go to the cafeteria. It'll have several lovely lunches before it retires for the day. The Mount Vernon basketball teams were honored by the school board three days after the championship. But the fate of the 2009-2010 season was still in the air. We absorbed an enormous amount of public criticism for quote unquote sending kids into the street to raise money, you know, with, uh, with, with, with buckets and tin cups and all the rest of it. And what I'm saying to you is that may be a component of life going forward because we may not be able to fully fund sports the way we would love to. The community had a choice. If it had supported one of the budgets that we put in front of voters, uh, then it would not have been necessary to cut interscholastic sports. Mount Vernon's got to take ownership of this thing. It's, it can't always be a check from Denzel Washington. Meanwhile, the Knights still had business to take care of with the state quarterfinal game against Newburgh at Pace University. Mount 
Vernon appeared ready to advance to the state semifinals in Glens Falls when Kadeem scored to give the Knights a two-point lead and the clock ran out. But officials ruled a timeout had been called and put two seconds back on the clock. And on Friday the 13th of March, the unbelievable happened. A one-handed 55-foot shot from half court had ended Mount Vernon's season. bounces for a reason. Sometimes it bounces the way that you don't like it to bounce. And it, it got us today. How does one remember a season? Is it a player? Is it a game? Is it a single shot? Or is it how close you came and how far you went? Last year, and I thought I hit the last, the last shot of the game to break the tie, and the, the shot that came in was crazy. I never seen a shot like that in my life. It's not, it's not like he shot up two hands. He shot up one hand, and just turned around and threw it up. What's next for you, Kadeem? Trying to succeed in life in college. Trying to go on to college and do what, I, do what I'm doing. Oh, well, this one made it so difficult because we really fought for this season. But at first, we, couldn't, we might wasn't able to have it because we had to go through the things we went through during the summer, raising all the money. And plus, it's my, it's my senior year. I'm the captain of this team. And just to go out with a shot like that is just devastating, especially for me and my other seniors. Yeah, I was very fortunate as a coach to uh, coach all these fellas. And uh, uh, this team will go down as a uh, very determined group. Uh, quality people and when I see them become more and more successful in life I'm going to kind of smile and I'm going to think uh, to myself that uh, tremendous setback the 55 foot shot had a little something to do with uh, their stubbornness and their perseverance to succeed in life. Nice!